Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Vianney. I do a lot of lifestyle content, home content, motherhood content over on my channel. So this weekend we are child free, which means me and Adam are going to get on with some house bits. And we are going to be using um, Imperial Italia's textured paint. I've seen this all over Instagram. It looks absolutely amazing. So we're going to be doing the back wall in our bedroom. And then we're just going to be doing a few more house bits whilst we're child free. So I thought I'd just take you along for the ride this weekend with just a we child free weekend with house updates decorating our house um i'm absolutely shattered from this week but here we are we've just been out for breakfast had lots of coffee and we are ready to go so being in a new build we've got quite a bit of cracking um in our bedroom to be fair it's not that bad compared to what i thought would happen but we're just going to touch up these corners because we're going to be doing like the back wall of the bedroom so where our bed is so all the back wall there so we're just sorting out that corner and then we're going to it doesn't need any more prep than that and then we're going to put the primer on leave that for four hours and then we're going to go back and do the painting so this is the set that we've got from Imperia Italia so we've got two lots of primer that needs to be diluted with water we've got two because we've ordered two lots of paint even though it's come in like one massive tub so they sell it by I think it's by kilo let me just double check yeah so we've got two kilos but they sell it by the kilo and one kilo is meant to do about five meters squared we estimate ours would be double that so we just got two i ordered one of their special brushes that you need to do the effect and then a tobacco sponge just to finish off the effect I'm first starting with the primer. I'm mixing 30% water, which is about 150 mils, and I'm giving it a really good stir so all the water is mixed in with the primer. So for the primer, I am just using a standard roller paint brush just to go over the large surfaces. And then for the corners and creases, I'm just using a standard paintbrush. I have let the primer dry for roughly three to four hours now and I'm now going in with the paint so I'm just giving it a really good stir before I start applying. So to apply the paint we're using a brush we purchased from Aperi Italia. This does come at an additional cost but is recommended to get that really nice textured effect. You want to go in a crisscross motion making sure you've got no harsh edges or anything that is too flat. You kind of want to go in a slap dash approach is my best way to describe it. After you've finished your section, you want to go in with your tobacco sponge brush and really finish off the effect. I found a kind of dab and twist kind of motion really gave it the best effect that we were after. And again, you want to do this in sections because you don't want it to dry before you've done this with the sponge. So we're now on day two of painting. Everything is dry. We just literally got to do this bit here. This is where the plaster was and it just still wasn't dry last night. And because we have so much paint left over, we decided to do this, this side of the wall as well. But we were doing this quite late into the evening so the light wasn't great and I can see that there's just some patches we're going to have to touch up. But it's looking absolutely amazing. Let me see if I can get, get you closer to the... Can you see how gorgeous is like all that like glitter in there? It's absolutely amazing this effect. The camera really doesn't do it justice. <laughs> so this is the finished result guys. What do you think? Let me just turn the light on. Oh, so that's it with a bit of light on. It is quite dark this morning. But it's absolutely gorgeous. I think it goes so well with my bedroom. Let's just zoom out. And this is the back wall. I just think it breaks the room up so nicely. I just absolutely love this paint. It's so gorgeous. I'm so pleased with it. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys and it's given you some inspiration for some house decor or if you're looking to use this paint, it's giving you a bit more insight into it. It is so easy to use. It's easier than normal paint because you don't have to worry about cutting in the corners or anything like that. You can be quite 
I say slap dash with it, but you just get such a good effect and it's just so easy to do. I am so happy and so pleased with this texture and this paint and this color. This is the shade Diamond in, I think it's the Dulux range. I'll link it down below. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll be having a lot more house content coming up soon and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.